get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow. Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. Alrighty, today, let's get stuck into it. The boozy eggnog. Alright, I'll just run you through what we're going to need. We're going to need six eggs, one third of a cup of caster sugar, three cups of milk, one cup of hazelnut liqueur. So I've got the Frangelico there. It was about 40 bucks a bottle. So if you go into your alcohol store and ask for your hazelnut liqueurs, they will send you in the right direction. Three quarters of a cup of thickened cream. And we're gonna need a little bit of ground nutmeg. First thing we wanna do is put our three cups of milk into a medium saucepan. And we wanna set it on the stove top till we need it. Now I've, I've got only got little eggs today, so instead of having the normal six I would have, I've added an extra one because they're little, so I've got seven little ones. So the next thing we're going to do is separate them. Now I separated them into two really large bowls because we need large bowls. Now we put the egg whites aside till we need them. Now we put our milk on a medium heat and we just want to heat it up and as soon as it goes to start boiling, take it straight off. We just want it hot, we don't want it boiling. Now while that's happening, if you put it on a medium heat, it will take a little while. So while that's happening, we want to put one third of a cup of caster sugar into our egg yolks. We want to get our beater out and we want to beat them up. Alright, so I'll probably beat there for about two and a half minutes. See how it's nice and thick, light and creamy, so it's a real light colour. So yeah, about two and a half minutes. Alright, now we're just waiting on our milk. Alrighty, now we've got our hot milk. Now what we want to do is, I'm probably going to burn your way here, is we're just going to put our beater on low and just slowly add it until we've beaten it all through. Okay, once we've beaten all that through, we now want to get one cup of our Frangelico, which is our hazelnut liqueur. Oh man, this stuff smells good. Ooh, this is how the Aussies do it, mate. And we want to do the same thing. We want to slowly pour it in as we beat on low. Okay, once we've done that, we need to get three quarters of a cup of cream. Same thing, on low and beat that through. Woohoo, teetering on the edge. That's how we do it. All right, so what I would have to do is just go find a huge bowl somewhere. So we set that aside for a minute. I'm just gonna go find a huge bowl. All right, this is the biggest bowl I've got. I usually use it to mix my salads up in. So I'm just going to pour it all into there. And that should give us plenty of room to fold in our egg whites in a minute. All right, we've got to clean our beaters and then we want to beat our egg whites until soft peaks form. All right, so I'll probably beat that on high for about three minutes, I reckon. See how it makes that pattern. They're ready. Oh, I can't tell you how nice this smell is. Okay, we want to put our egg whites in there. And then we just want to fold them through. So just turn and turn and do this sort of thing. And just keep doing it until we've got it all mixed through. Just take your time. Alrighty, I've been doing this for about three minutes like this. And it's just perfect now. So you see a little lump, little lump straw that absolutely does not matter. You just want to get a majority of that in, okay? So once we've done that, now you can serve this warm or cold. So what I'm going to do is, because it's in such an awkward bowl, is I'm going to get my small jug and I'm going to take it out of there and put it into my big jug. <laughs> so I've filled a two litre jug. The liquid comes up to about here and the foam goes right up so slowly it will go up just a little bit more now if you want to serve it cold which is how I love to serve it I've just got I'm just using my cottage jug I had a beautiful glass jug and I broke it last year but I've got one of these which has actually got a lid to it to seal it in but if you're going to put it in a jug for later same day you need to use it up the same day um, cover it up all right so put some glad wrap over it or a lid over it so pour it in oh god been a while. Come on, fella, in you go. Oh, baby. About three quarters. Now, these are really big mugs. You would normally put these in just normal standard size mugs. So I'll do it about half, just over halfway. And then I'm going to get some of that foam out and put it in. Oh, yeah, baby. Sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg on top of them. 
So now what I've decided to do is there's this new craze in America called Freak Shakes. And obviously I won't be able to do it as lavish as some of them. Some of them you can go in and buy this Freak Shake and they're like $25, $30 each. They're insane. They're supposed to be over the top and a lot of fun. And I thought, well, I'm going to do a Christmas eggnog one. So let's have a crack at it. First thing I'm going to do is get out a little saucepan. I'm going to put the kettle on. I'm going to put some boiling water in there. I'm going to sit a heat proof jug over the top, making sure the water doesn't touch it. I'm going to throw in some dark chocolate and melt it down. While the chocolate's melting down, I'm going to put a little bit of cream in a bowl and I'm going to beat it up until it's nice and thick. All right, so I just wanted to show you, once you've beaten your cream up, the easiest way to put your cream into your piping bag is to sit it into a glass, depending on how much you're using is how tall a glass you get. Fold your bag over the top and then you can easily spoon your cream into it. Now because I'm making an eggnog one, I want to grab some stuff that's to do with eggnog and Christmas. So I've got some candy canes. Like I said, I've got no idea what I'm doing here. I just figured if I grab enough crap, I'll work it out. I've got a couple of chocolate Santas, marshmallow Santas. I don't even know what I'm going to use and what I'm not. I've got some lady fingers. I grabbed some Raffaellos. Damn lot. I grabbed some Raffaellos, there's three in there because I'm pretty sure they've got a hazelnut in the middle, so that's perfect for eggnog. Because we're using donuts, these new TV snack. There's these new TV snacks and they're crispy cream donuts <laughs> and they're little biscuits and they're all like little donuts, they're cute as shit so I grab them just in case we use them as well I grab some marshmallows I grabbed a pack of these, now I live in a country town so they were ridiculously prized but these are Walker's gingerbread men so these better be the best gingerbread men I've ever tasted but I grabbed some of them I've got some chocolate sprinkles and I've got some crispy cream donuts. Now the crispy deep now the crispy cream donuts you can get from ODRs on the runs in South Australia. When the Americans do them, they do them in huge ones, as you can imagine, and everything's huge, but I'm just gonna do a little scale. Alright, so what I'm gonna do first. is I'm going to get the mug, tip it upside down, dip it in the chocolate, let a little bit come off, then quickly tip it upside down, like a so. Now with the spoon, I'm just gonna get some and pour it around the edge, because what we wanna do is make it all drip down there. In theory. Alright, then once I've done that, I've just got to drop it. So I'm guessing you're not going to be able to see properly, so I hope I can show you like that. So it looks like that. That's how we want them to look. <laughs> now I'm going to sit that in the fridge for a minute to set. All right, so we've got a little violet crumble Santa. <laughs> I thought they were marshmallow ones. That's how blonde I am. So we'll put him aside. Now I've got some skewers. Now like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just got sort of a couple of things in my head. I'm going to get white marshmallows for this. I'm going to do a couple of skewers up, so I'm going to skewer some right up to the top. Now we need it like at least this much, I'm guessing, to stick through the donuts. So we've got the little gingerbread men. <laughs> Raffaellos, they look like really Christmassy too. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour the eggnog in. All right, now I'm gonna get Krispy Kreme donuts. So I've decided to go with one glazed. So we sit that on top. And one chocolate. So we sit that on top again. So I've got my marshmallows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle chocolate over one side. So if I wanna put it in on that angle, I'm just gonna go like this. Hopefully this will work. 
Oh, it just look like one big bloody mess. Once that's done, just let the excess drip off for a second. Oh, I just don't even have a big enough screen. Now I'm going to stick it. Hmm, where am I going to stick it? I reckon through here. Try not to come out the other side. Um, so I might just stick it through this side. Like a so. Then I'm going to get some whipped cream, shove it in the middle first. Put a heap of cream on there. <laughs> now, so. I've got these little skewers as well, right? So what I might do is I might put some chocolate on the back of the gingerbread man and then I'll put some chocolate on the back, I'll sit the skewer on that and then some chocolate over the top and I'll just let that set for a minute. And I'll just stick that in the fridge for two secs. And hopefully that will hold that on. Just to sort of show you, I know I'm sorry. I'll show you properly at the end obviously, but that's where we are so far. Okay. Now that one's on a skewer. So I think we'll put Santa on a skewer as well. But, oh, we might be able to lean him up against something. Yeah, bugger it, you only live once. All right, I'm going to do exactly the same with the marshmallows on another skewer. And I'm going to be totally out of your way, but I'm going to stick this in the other side. Now, while that one's still wet, I might shove Santa here, lean him up against it. Got a couple of candy canes. Hopefully, I can get them through that. Come on, baby. If I can stick one to the other, like that, they hopefully won't fall off. Okay, he's stuck really well. I might put him in at the front more, just to distribute the weight. Stick some Raffaello's in there. some sprinkles over it. Now I forgot about the lady fingers so I might just stick one of them in there. Well there you have it lovelies. Boozy eggnog freak shake. <laughs> Aren't they freaking ridiculous? <laughs> oh mate, the camera just doesn't show you how awesome that really looks. Okay, now if you want a non-boozy eggnog, you can just leave the booze out and make plain old eggnog. Alright, who remembers Nesquik? <laughs> my granddaughter loves strawberry. Me and my sisters grew up on the good old chocolate Nesquik. 
<laughs> so I'm going to make a strawberry one up. Okay, I've got the strawberry milk in this one. Now I'm going to use two strawberry Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay, so I'm going to drizzle the chocolate over first, like I did last time. This time I'm going to get some sprinkles and sprinkle them over it. Okay, so I want to make this one really colourful. So I'm going to put the cream in the middle. I'm going to have to move it over because my bench is so small. Yeah, I guess two. Okay, I'm going to stick one of these bad boys in either side. Now I'm thinking I can get them into like a love heart like that. So, in theory. So I'm just going to cut a bit off the ends. Yeah, but we'll see if I can make this work. So... Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I'll turn it around. I managed to get into a love heart. That's so cute. All right, now where's that chocolate Santa? So I'm going to put him in the middle. But I might have to lean him up against a skewer, I reckon. So if I put a skewer down, sit him in the cream, lean him up against the skewer. Oh, that is so cute! Now if I put a couple of these donut biscuits through them, I can shove that down there. I might be able to just sit them on there somehow like this with you all right I might sprinkle some hundred thousands over the top god what a mess this kitchen is <laughs> I did a big rookie mistake and I forgot to put the straw in so what I'm going to do is I've got two straws here Okay, these are like these bendable ones or whatever. So what I'm going to do is cut one off before the bend. Now, I'll just make sure you're If I cut it on an angle like that, okay, I should be able to screw it into that one. Like a sew. All right, and make a huge long straw. So what you're supposed to do is when you put your two donuts on top, you're supposed to put your straw in next before you put all the cream and the decorations and everything on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome night, and I'll see you soon. Toodles!